To get started with DEEP's Document Online Search Portal, navigate to filings.deep.ct.gov forward slash DEEP Document Search Portal. Here's the front page of the search portal. As you can see, there are a series of links across the top. First, if at any time you need to return to the home screen or start over, you can click on Home. For information about what documents are available and other frequently asked questions, click on More Information and FAQs. If you have any questions about a specific search or about the documents you have retrieved, you can find contact information for specific programs under Questions on Searches and Documents. For more information about Freedom of Information Act requests, click on Freedom of Information Act FOIA requests. And finally, to report any technical difficulties you may encounter, click on Report Technical Difficulties. Remember that the document search portal is being updated on a regular basis with both new documents and newly scanned historical documents. Please see more information and FAQs for information on what documents are available through the search portal. Now let's look at the search criteria box. There are several fields that you can use to narrow down your search. Next to each field, you'll see a small blue icon which you can click for more information about each search criteria field. You may notice a search field for agency ID. I will explain where to find this information later in the presentation. The agency program, town, file type, and document type fields are drop down menus which allow you to choose multiple criteria. Now, let's do a search for records related to the fictional company Acme Inc. located at 123 Main Street in Hartford. It's important to remember that this portal does not function the same as an internet search engine. It will search for exactly what you type. For that reason, you should start your search as broadly as you can and don't forget to double check your spelling. Do you see a problem with the search criteria I entered here? If a record was created under the entity name Acme Incorporated instead of Acme Inc., it would not be returned in this search. And if the record was created under the street address 123 Main Street with the word street spelled out rather than abbreviated as ST, those records also would not be returned in this search. Let's fix that. Now our search will likely result in a more comprehensive list of records. But we can go even broader here. Perhaps Acme had a different name at some point in their history. Removing the entity name, but leaving the town and street address may result in files created under that other name. Perhaps they moved locations within Hartford in the past. Removing the street address would return all documents in Hartford under the name Acme. Trying different variations in your search will help you ensure that you retrieve all available documents but it is possible to search too broadly. If your search criteria results in more than 1,000 documents, they will not all be displayed because the maximum number of records our system can return is 1,000. If you get this warning, it's time to go back and narrow your search criteria. After hitting Submit on a query, a table of results will be returned. If you'd like to download a list of the search results without any associated documents, click the export button and a CSV file containing a list of the results will be downloaded to your computer. Earlier in the presentation, I mentioned that one of the possible search criteria is agency ID. As you can see, this table includes a column for agency ID. So if you find a specific site or environmental interest that you'd like to find all the related records, you can make a note of the agency ID, return to the search criteria page, and perform a new search by that agency ID. If you'd like to view or download an individual document, click the View button. It's important to note that you can refine your results right here in this table. Next to each column header, there's a funnel icon. Click on that icon, and a filter box will appear. You can then use the fields within this filter to narrow your results. Remember that our document search portal is not a comprehensive database of all documents available at DEEP. You may need to visit our Environmental Quality Records Center file room, and you may need to complete a Freedom of Information Act request. More information about the file room and FOIA requests can be found on our website.
Thank you so much for taking the time to learn how to use our document search portal.